Our Father and our God, we give you thanks and give you praise for this brand new day. Thank you for your generosity to us. Thank you for your mercy. You said in your word that you are the Lord, merciful, gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth. Thank you for proving this in our lives every day. Thank you for proving this in our homes every day. We are eternally grateful to you. Today, Lord, we come before you. We ask that you cleanse the conscience of every individual amongst us. Cleanse the conscience of every individual with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. You have given the conscience to us to be our inner witness, to be our inner police. Help us not to kill our conscience. Help us not to misuse it. Help us not to silence it. Your word says in Proverbs 20 verse 27, the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Help us, Heavenly Father, to make positive use of our conscience. Make our heart full of good conscience. May we live a high standard of life, righteously and morally. May we live upright lives by your help help us to keep our hearts free of spiritual encumbrances help us to keep our hearts free of bitterness of unforgiveness of rancor of rebellion of anger of ungodliness help us to keep our hearts free of lust in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 2 from verse 15 to 16. The writer talking about some people said concerning them that they show that the work of the law, the word of God is written in their hearts. Their conscience also bearing them witness and their thoughts accusing or excusing them. Help us, O oh Lord, to show also today in our thoughts, in our action and words that your law is written in our heart. Help us to show that we have internalized your commandments so that we can be full of assurance before you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, evil conscience is a great stumbling block in the journey of faith. It hinders obedience. It hinders prayer, it hinders hope, it hinders faith, it hinders the work of the ministry. Please deliver us from evil conscience. Deliver us from evil and ungodly conscience. Cleanse and purge our consciences with the blood shed on the cross of Calvary. In 2 Chronicles chapter 25, verse 1 and verse 2 the bible says that amaziah did that which was right in the sight of the lord but not with a perfect heart today we pray help us to do what is right in your sight help us to do it with a perfect heart in the name of the lord jesus the bible says by their fruit you shall know them Today, help us to bear good fruit. Help us, Heavenly Father, to bear the fruit of humility, the fruit of kindness, the fruit of generosity, the fruit of grace, the fruit of mercy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we decree and pray that this day shall favor us. This day shall speak in our favor. 
Nothing will go wrong with us today. Nothing will go wrong in our lives. The good report we are expecting will come through today. None of us will receive bad news. None of us will be afflicted. None of us will be destroyed. None of us will be put to shame. In all our travelings today, you will keep us in safety. You will deliver us from our enemies. You will deliver us from the trap laid for us by the enemy. All the enemies that are presenting themselves as friends, may you expose them. In the name of Jesus, give us passion in prayer. Give us grace in all that we shall do. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen.